Hello and welcome back to Fusion 360. Today uh, we are going to talk about the simulations, right? And specifically, this video will target the static simulation, which most probably we call it the force analysis or the finite element analysis. Simply, we can call this is FEA. So I'm in simulation mode right now, and this time. I just did a simple simulation of force analysis and I just uh, defined the factor of safety and if you look at the stress analysis let's boom we have the min we have the max so probably whenever you deal with the finite element analysis you must know the strength of the material so now once you define the maximum stress and probably we have over here so this is the stress concentration region simply you can go for the displacement reaction forces strain and many more different things so how can we achieve such of this one minus a stress diagram factor of safety so you can calculate the factor of safety by your own as well once you define the stress because the factor of safety is called as the maximum stress divided uh, the maximum strength divided by the maximum stress so you can calculate this and simply we, we must know that it must probably be larger than one so let's boom I want to delete this one for now and again I want to go to the simulation table and this time we have different things over here we have the frequency electronic schooling thermal thermal stress buckling linear static stress and many different things injection modeling simulation but for now i will just click on the static stress and i will create study now i'm in the simulation environment right now we have the different tools so that you can simply access them and right so let's just start them and the the most uh important thing is over here is just the things that you're going to be navigating is or simply forward right you can just go for them in the linear direction so let's boom uh you can just simplify your model because sometimes we have the complex model and we just want to do a certain analysis on specific regions so you can just deal with them but for now I would like to just specify the material make sure without specifying the material you cannot navigate and you cannot do the FEA so for now I will just define the aluminum anything you can just pick out right you probably know the specific material and that you just want to do the finite element analysis but for now I'll just pick this one and I'll just hit OK and now I just want to define the constraints that's actually defined from you actually want to fix this cantilever beam right so I'm just specifying the fixed axis the fixed faces and I just want to fix this beam from these three faces right and I want to hit OK and this time I want to apply certain loads right so this time I want to click on the force we can have pressure moment building loads remote load hydraulic pressure and remote moment as well but for now I will just simply click on the force and I want to click on the place where we want to put this load so simply I can just look at this face as well or even you can just pick this edge as well once you click on the face simply you can see over here and you can just define the direction whether this is normal direction you can just put in an inclined load as well like this way and you can just specify the vector like for example uh, you you can have the rectangular components of the certain force and you can just deal with them like the load in FX is this much the load in FY is this much and look but for now I just want to simply deal with the normal distribution of force and this time I want to select 
this edge rather than defining the normal face and for now I just want to define the 120 load you can just define the load units for now I just want to click on the Newton and I will hit OK and now once you're done with this then you can just go and click on the pre check right so the window pop ups and it tells us me that all the things you have previously defined is correct right so you can go ahead and just solve the study once you click on the solve study this menu will pop up and it might take a couple of minutes depending upon the complexity of the part that you just want to be simulate and now let's just click on the solve study now it's just simplifying and going to be simulate and and again to create the simulation analysis for me so let's just boom mmm we have boom we have the factor of safety defined right and again I'm telling you the simulation that you're going to conduct depends on the complexity of the pod right and just the Fusion 360 will do simulation for you and once you're done with the process then you can see that we have the pop-up menu and telling me the factor of safety which is too much right because the load that I have applied on this beam was much lesser than the load actually it bears right so this is 13.43 but actually we just need a bit larger than one we will for the factor of safety if it is two the factor of safety it means the the the, the, the beam can bear double the load that actually the beam has been designed for so this has been pop-ups and this time I'm on the safe side and I will just close it for now you can simply close these status bars as well because I have done with the simulation and now the results has been shown over here simply you can go for the load case and then you can just navigate for the stress analysis again as at the beginning of the video I just told you and displacement and once you click on the stress analysis you can look over here the red region shows me the stress concentration and most probably I will I will pop up there where we have the stress concentration and you can look at the red zones and then uh, displacement probably uh, at the end of the beam I will most probably have a maximum displacement and the beam has just deflected from the normal position to the uh, maximum displacement in the downward direction of 0.09 millimeters which is much lesser than right and I'm the safe side as earlier I told you and uh, from the factor of safety as well and you can just go for the reaction forces right uh, as I applied the uh, constraint on this beam from this phases so probably I will have the reaction forces min and max you can see and then you can just go for the strain analysis right make sure we have the stress and this is probably showing the one minus stress right from the min value up to the max value if you have the maximum value of the stress you can simply deal and you can simply go to define the factor of safety through your theoretical calculations as well and this is an MPA which is the megapascal and this time we just wanna click on the settings and you can just click on the normal position you can just click on the small anyway you can just put it in large positions as well and this time I just wanna click on the this panel and you can just deal with the color transition I will just wanna be having a close band in between the colors so that I just navigate for them properly and then when I just click on the bands and you can just look at here right you're a half the stress concentration and you can just deal with them but this time I just wanna be having a smooth transition in between them and let's boom before going for the complex part make sure you have to just define the mesh analysis uh, so that 
you have just messed up properly the complex path so that there is no open regions and between them and whenever you just define the mesh this time I have the simply and I have just the uh, the 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 sample beam but when I have you have the complex path that time uh, you must probably have the mesh analysis where you have the congested places that time the mesh will have a smaller region so this was all about today's lecture and hope you like it so if you like this tutorial just make sure to thumbs up this video and subscribe to the channel leave a comment if you have any question regarding and I will just bring up such kind of simulation design and manufacturing tutorials for you people just make sure to subscribe to this channel hope you like it and let's see you in the next video let's boom